So, I'm going to play ball with these two little honorees. They're so honorary they can't stand themselves. <laughs> yep. Here. This is Willow. It's Rose. No, they just ate. Uh-oh, there goes the ball. I get it. Wait. Let me get it. I don't need you guys in here. I was kind of mowing my lawn the other day, and I should have. I think I ran out of daylight. Okay. Here they are. <laughs> They've been out all day. We came in from church, and... Good girl! I need cookies in my pocket! Uh-oh, now Rose has them. Um, Taffy can't stand me talking to the dogs out here. It was supposed to rain more than this. I did water some trees this morning. Rose, you have you. Come here. Good girl. You have the ball? Good girl. Willow's got it now. Yes, she does. They've been chewing our bones all day. I guess that is it detached cow leg. So as these cow legs get ripe, these things will rot off. These hoofs see they've already chewed off these two things. Oh Willow, you have the ball? Good girl. See I should have cookies in my pocket so when they give me the ball I'll give them a cookie. Okay, good girl. Here we go. Alright, get it. Oop, I'm shooting into the sun. <laughs> I need to go play with my bear girls, Honey Bear and Hannah Bear. Now I have Coco Bear. I, her name's Coco. I just call her Coco Bear. Oh, I do have cookies in my pocket. Look, cookies in my pocket. Here, Rose. Good girl. Now, bull mastiffs don't retrieve a lot. Oh, she dropped the ball and the other one picked it up. I just put a jacket on because it was cool. I didn't realize I had cookies in my pocket. Good girl. Okay, here we go. Ready? Get the ball. <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> now, the uh, Infinity and Dippity, they used to play out here with me. I'll have to go in their pen. Now, don't bite a hole in the ball. That's my... My chiropractor gave me that. Yeah, he did. He's a good guy. Good, good girl. Here we go. Okay, let me get another cookie. Rose. <laughs> Willow. Good girl. Now, they see, in no way have they made the connection that they're getting a cookie for giving me the ball. <laughs> in no way. In no way have they made this connection. So, I'm going to get a cookie here. <laughs> They're just playing keep away. I am loving the way Infinity is turning out. Hey, come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, when she drops it, the other one picks it up. <laughs> But now here's the thing, if they bring me the ball, and every time they bring me the ball and drop the ball, I give them a cookie that it'll finally register. They're just goofing off and playing keep away. Oops, she missed it and Rose saw it. Good girl! Yeah, there, they're right there. Now she may figure this out. If I bring mom the ball, I get a cookie. But I don't know. Sometimes bull masses. Okay. So if she figures this out, if I bring mom the ball, I get a cookie. We can get her to retrieve. So I don't know if she's figured it out yet or not. Okay, Willow. Good girl. Willow, good girl. I'm going to run out of cookies. Now don't you hit my fingers. Don't you jump on me. They're so fast at the ball. I don't think my body pick it back up. Good girl, Rose. Good girl. Okay, I got it. There you go. Go get it. There you go. They didn't see me throw it. I don't think even with a Labrador, you know, they really need to see the ball being thrown. Or you'll be chasing your own ball back down. Where did the ball go? Here we go. Good 
Good girl. Good girl. So if they have to figure out in their mind that they're getting a cookie for bringing them. And they get a cookie often for coming to me. So I thought I stuck a whole pocket full of cookies in this little jacket I decided to put on. I just have to be careful with my laundry or I end up, end up washing these liver treats. Willow. <laughs> she went through my legs. Willow. Good girl. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you gotta be rough on your fingers. I think Dixie plays ball too. Legacy plays ball. It's fun as puppies to get them to play. Teach them to play. It helps their overall intelligence. <laughs> and they need something to play. Good girl. Good girl. So the, this one I would say is smarter. So as she can figure out, I'm giving her a cookie for bringing me the ball. So while I'm out here, I am not giving her a cookie for just coming to me because I'm not calling her either. Willow. They do get tired of it. After a while, they never get tired of eating. Okay. That was good. So Willow brought me the ball and she got a cookie. So Rose brought me the ball and she got a cookie. Oh, I call these not cookies. They're dehydrated liver. So Tiny's coming back from Shawnee with Bestie. I've got to run down and pick up Sonia, the little girl that works for me, who was named after me because her dad, I had her daddy in Sunday school years and years ago. What a precious connection, huh? And I am so glad I did not do that show because Tanya said they were not allowed to leave the dogs in the building. And so if I had had six dogs with me, I'd had to leave them in the car, which if you're leaving one dog per crate, that's not a problem, but if you left these two in a crate all night together, that's a problem, because they could get in a fight, there's not really enough room in a crate, I mean, it's different to travel four or five hours with them as to try to leave them overnight, so... So, um, yes, because if I would have went, I was, no, these two aren't old enough to go. I would have taken Dippy and Finney and Legacy and probably Rose. Rose decided she would fence fight the other day and she has put her lips and someone got a hold of her lips and now she looks terrible, to be honest with you. And then she's working on this, uh, getting meat off of this neck and some ribs and brisket and so she's working that lip which is making it even worse. It'll heal. I think that's Tinker wanting out up there. So see they're already getting more tired. These are my girls. It's a good thing I'm running out of cookies. Here, cookie. Um, Finny and Dippy. My Finny and Dippy. So I like these girls. I haven't bonded really deeply with these two because they, uh, Tim raised them at the house, Tim and Alec, and they let Tim and Alec allow the girls to jump on them and be terribly naughty quick. And so they were kind of confirmed naughty girls by the time they got here. And with all my instruction, I have not quite a, 
got it all out of them. She's just the perfect weight. This one's a tiny bit heavy. Oh, you should see Honey Bear. She looks like a honey pot. She's as round as Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Rose! Well, I am proud of this girl. I think Rose is a little more intelligent than, but I don't know. Whoever eats first is typically the most intelligent one. Uh, I think I got away without any holes in it. This is a really sturdy ball. My chiropractor gave it to me. So you put the ball between the wall and you, the muscle that hurts, and you just lean into it. And it really does help you release. So, so I'm going to call that a little video.